Okay, this is lesson three in Photoshop. So we're going to move some objects around, show you some different tools. I'm going to use the quick selection tool, the magnetic lesso tool. And before that, my edit bar looks like this. Everything is its own place. Y'all have a whole bunch of stuff down here. So when I need to start for you to follow along, you're having trouble because y'all are not in the same place as mine. So go through and put these, drag them in the right place. So just pause the video, put all those in the right place, and then unpause the video and do the next section. Pause it and then just keep doing that until you get all of yours in the same groups as mine. And if I need to pull mine up on the screen for you to do that, we can do that as well. All right, here we go. Click done. All right, we're going to use the quick selection tool to move the seashell up here. So make sure it's on the plus sign. Click on it and it automatically clicks it. Now, if it accidentally clicks the red part, then you'll have to go back and minus and select it out. So then when you have it selected, click the move. And we're going to move the sand dollar up here. All right, and then Control D gets you out of that. You need to go save it. File save as. Go to your desktop. Go make a week 14 folder, create folder. And I'm just replacing over the one I had before. And then put your last name in front of it, underscore, and save. Okay, now we're going to use the elliptical marquee tool. All right, so start drawing your oval, and then you're going to see that it's not exactly the right size. So hold down your mouse with holding down the space bar. Okay, if you let go of your mouse, you're going to have to redo this. Then move it with the space bar, and then let go of the space bar, but still holding down your mouse. Start making the size again. I'm going to make mine a little bigger. Hold down the space bar, move it over, and you can see it lines up pretty well. Let go of your space bar with your mouse still there. Make sure you have it how you want it. Go get the move tool and move it up there. Okay, so I didn't get everything, but it's all right because it's just a tutorial. All right, control D. Okay, if you accidentally clicked out of it, then click arrow back to where it's still selected. Okay, because we want it still racing around. All right, so we still have it selected. And then we're going to go up to view. And we're going to go down to show. Select edges. And mine's already turned on, but if yours isn't, then turn on selection. Again, view, show, selection edges. All right. And then Control H hides that. Control H puts that back. You can use the arrow keys when it's selected to move it where you need it to go if it's not exactly lined up the way that you want it. Okay. So then once you get it where you want it to, Control D and then Control S saves or you can do file save. Okay. All right. Now we are going to use the rectangle because if we take the magic wand and try to select this, it just picks parts. Okay. So we're going to have to do something first to get that to select. We got to make a parameter. So control D, go get your rectangle, draw a rectangle around the shell, and then go get your magic wand. Okay, sorry, I had to pause my video because I had a student. So let me go back. Get your square. So if your square is still not there, redraw it. Okay. And then you're going to click on the magnetic wand. I'm sorry, not the magic wand. Make sure tolerance is at 32. And then we're going to click the subtraction because we want to take the white out of this selection. 
So now we only have the shell. And click move. And then move the shell up here. And then control D, control S to save. And then I'll have to pause it until my other class gets in here. Okay, zoom in. And we're going to move the shell. All right, so I'm going to use the quick selection tool. And you just hold down your mouse and keep selecting. And when you have everything selected, just check and make sure you have everything selected. If you need to go add something, just move it a little bit. If you want to take something off, take it off. I probably should have just left it alone. All right, go zoom out. Get the move tool. Move it up here, and then we're gonna rotate it. All right, so now we need to move it. Rotate it, I mean, edit, transform, rotate. Rotate it. Control H hides those lines so you can kind of see what you're doing better. And you can also use the arrow keys. And then Control H puts them back on. Control H takes them off. Control D deselects it. Control S saves. Yes, apply and save. Okay, so on this one, we are going to move this shell. So zoom in. All right, so you can try what we did last time, a rectangle with the quick selection tool. Make sure it's on minus. Oh, actually, we're going to do the magic wand. Make sure it's on subtraction. And see, it doesn't work because it's got all these lines in it. All right, so we're going to try a different tool. It's called the magnetic lasso tool. And I've talked to you all about this one before. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Now, I'm not saying the other one wouldn't work, but this one's probably going to be easier. So if you want to go back and do the other one and deselect till you get all those other lines gone, you can. But if not, you can just do. And the more you click. The closer it gets and the better it gets. Okay, I'm going to pause the video until this is over. Okay, so I had some mess ups right here and I accidentally did it when the video was paused. So there were some lines out here. So let's pretend I have a line out here. Well, okay, I have one right up here. I'll do it over here. And it takes it away because I'm on the deselection subtraction. Okay, so now I have my shell where I want it. Zoom out. Go get the move tool. Move it where you want it. Use the arrow keys. Put it where you want it. Control D, deselects, and then Control S to save. All right, so now we're going to move this one. Quick selection tool. No, control D. All right. Plus. All right, oh, then we're so gonna move. Today was a lucky day for me. I found five dollars on the floor. Okay, so the last thing that we are going to do is move these buttons around. And I accidentally did it. Some of it when it was paused. So I'm gonna go back, get the quick selection tool, turn it on positive. Turn it on negative to get rid of that. 
All right, we're pretty good on having that selected. You can zoom in too if you want to get more technical with it. All right, we're going to do the move key. All right, so like pretend it was down here. So as you see, it was bigger, okay? So I went and put it back up here. Then we're going to go to edit. Transform. Scale, because it was bigger down there. So it was bigger. So you're going to scale it to where it fits. And I didn't scale these all correctly. You can see that, but this is just practice. All right, apply it, control G, control S, and then click yes. Okay, so then to duplicate this, shift and alt duplicates it. All right, so just you just only need four. Okay, but I'm just going to sit down and show you. Let it go, let your mouse go, holding down shift and alt, so you can duplicate stuff over and over again. You only have to have four. All right, so... That's how you duplicate. That is using the quick selection tool, the magnetic lasso tool, using transform, scale, and rotate. All right, lastly, we don't want all this junk on our page. So we're going to click the crop. All right, so control D to make sure nothing's selected then go get the crop. Yeah. All right, so control D, make sure nothing is selected. Go get the crop tool. Then you can crop out the part that you want. and click crop and all of the rest of it goes away. You can even go back if you want it closer and you can kind of scale it down. Click the crop button and it'll crop it. So then all of the rest of that went away. So there'll be a little exercise for you. You're gonna do this one, then you're gonna do your own and then we will move on to another lesson. Make sure you save it. Go turn this in. You have another assignment after this one.